What up, family? Got to say, I just seen Jack Boy on an interview, right? Matter of fact, it was on Angela Yee and Mano uh, podcast, right? And Jack Boy was in good spirits. You know, he was talking about we seen him that got bigger. He been working out uh, and just living, getting his own money since the Kodak situation. You know, a lot of people would break off from the head and fall, but Jack Boy continued to grow and do his thing and be successful. You got to salute that. Now, the beef between him and Kodak is one of the ones that I know later on in the game, they both will look back at because don't nobody really want to kill or hurt nobody. You feel me? Everything is really all out of love. And they will look back as, as they get older, fam, hopefully, and mend their relationship again because they come from a land um, in Haiti, fam, that's uh, real rough. You know, they come from a land that you got to appreciate the look things because where they come from, don't nobody got nothing. You feel me? And Jack Boy was saying that in the interview. So I feel like uh, on day end, when it come to the spirituality, even though Kodak act like he act, but his spirits in them type people, fam, and they able to forgive and move on. But that's either here nor there. Now, fast forward. In the process of all this going on, Jack Boy just popped back up in the news. And this time, he popped back up in the news in a situation that we didn't see coming. Now, reports is saying, fam, that they pulled Jack Boy over, right? Mind you, he in a bulletproof SUV. When they pulled him over, fam, they found a Glock with an extended magazine of 32 rounds. They found marijuana, all these different things. So they charging them with the marijuana and, and, and the little surface stuff that he had around that found. And they charging them with having the extended magazine found, 32 rounds. Now, one would think, damn, what, what, what found, you know, bulletproof? vehicle you feel me he got the extended clip with this many rounds is you finna go on a mission <laughs> you, you feel me or something but it's really not like that fam all these rappers is moving like that because they got to they really be in fear for their life and, and you, you you need to be fam because this umbrella and see the law enforcement not understanding this they just playing cat cat and mouth and locking these dudes up fam and a lot of times with these situations, they already know who they're pulling over, what the deal is, and that with this situation. If you're a hip-hop artist, rapper, and Jack Boy, especially an individual like him, even though he's pushing peace a little bit, you know, right now, but it's still what it is, Right? You have to protect it. And these dudes be felons. You know, they, they, they be on papers and all these different things. And you really ain't got no life. You can't do nothing due to the fact of these situations like this. And you got to protect yourself. You be better off being a local dude in the hood moving around with the pistol to get away with it than a hip-hop artist. Man, we seeing this is back to back to back to back when it comes to these things. And it's deeper than the surface of what everybody uh seeing, fam. It's really genocide like <laughs> on the black community, on the culture, on these rappers and locking them up, fam. Because the same label that they signing to, making money off them, why? And not finna burn them out, not finna do none of that. And they knowing that they playing this cow cat and mouse game with the hip hop police. But they the hip-hop business people. Everything worked together just like the prison system, fam. To keep an individual uh, trapped. You can look at Brazy's situation. And we see that Brazy about to come home. The individuals around him even had the burner, fam. 
and they wanted to send him back. You feel me? So they want individuals dead, found a vile character. I'm just being real with you. Because they put life insurance on these artists, fam. And I'm not saying they pushing the needle for the artist to go out and do what he doing. I'm not saying that. They making their own decisions, doing what they doing, but it's a system. Life is a system, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to wake up and understand that. Meaning, I don't care if you go to a job, your relationship with your kids, everything, you got to have a system. You feel what I'm saying? And the system that they in is just like the, the justice system, the prison system, fam. It's getting individuals dead and in jail. Like these is big facts. Jack Boy spoke on being from where he from, Haiti, and how blessed he feel with the little things, even the iPhone, fam, being in a position that he, and I respected that a whole lot. I'm not saying that Jack Boy is a bad boy. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like getting caught with a scrap up. You got to protect yourself. You got to bulletproof. You got to. But my, my thing is, if you can exit that game, because he have got a successful restaurant that's jumping right now, Jack Boy. You know what I'm saying? And finna get more chains of restaurants. And he's successful in that. You feel me? Making more money than what he was doing on route. If you're doing certain things in life, certain jobs will cause people where well, you ain't got to have a bulletproof truck or you ain't got to have a gun. It's just that hip hop life that got individuals feeling like that, even if it ain't like that on their level. And it's best to be safe than, than sorry. I always heard you stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> you know, them big facts. But for them people, and, and 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 reasons why they were saying that the tent to and, and that the excuse that they use to pull individuals over that they already know that they're gonna pull over, right? Or they they even sometimes they even say you you just stop at the stop sign and like man I know I stopped this hit my and they'll use that as an excuse to have probable cause to come in and search the car. Jack boy when they pull up on fam. It's smelling like weed, everything in the vehicle. That's automatic, you know, and they know pretty much. Really, man, if you moving around with that, that burn, you feel me? And you know you got to have it like that. You know, nine times out of ten, hey, you, you're going to be with it, then without it. You can't be burning the trees. That just real in the vehicle. Because even if you had grounds to stand on something, that take it all the way out of there if they come up smell the marijuana. Now they got probable cause to get in and search the car. Now you can't take it away that you had that gun in there. <laughs> you feel me? Or them drugs or whatever the case might be. Bottom line on this thing, fam. I know what the hip hop game is, but I hope Kodak and Jack Boy, because they had, I know these type of bonds coming from the hood, fam. And it's always, I look back on a lot of situations I had with individuals and had apologized on a lot of them, got back cool with individuals. So I know it can be done because y'all relationship is bigger than the system and they let that system get a hold to them. And hopefully, fam, Jack Boy come out up under this system, the justice system, fam, and uh, come do it again. But I will keep y'all updated on this situation. But make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.